The scenes on the central Tunis street named after Habib Bourguiba would not have been possible a year ago. Tunisians can, for the first time in years, celebrate their independence from France openly. This is the first Independence Day without seeing El Abedin Ben Ali. This is Independence Day, then it's a national day for youth. It is a young people's revolution, so you can't imagine the emotions we feel as young Tunisians. While Habib Bourguiba, Tunisia's founding father, can now be remembered in this new era of openness, people haven't forgotten his failings. Like his successor Ben Ali, he too would not let go of power. There is no difference. It's just a different type of dictatorship. Oppression is oppression. All these regimes suppress the dignity of people. Even sporting events are now contributing to this new mood of democracy, challenging each other, clubs from two nations, Tunisia and Egypt, bonded by revolutions which overthrew years of dictatorship. This was a symbolic match and more than just about football. There's pride on both sides. Their uprisings have inspired the Arab world. The small country has shown the world you cannot underestimate the desire for freedom. After a period of instability, this really does seem like the beginning of a new era for Tunisia. Nathalie Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Tunis.